Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministries or ministry international video. I'm Kenithia Elias. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hallelujah. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Thank you, Jesus. I just deleted Josh. Heavenly Father, I thank you for another blessed day. Thank you for your spirit of joy, peace. Thank you for all that you do for me, all you've done. <sighs> thank you for your presence and your angels. I pray you decrease all my flesh and increase your Holy Spirit in me. Let the people hear you and not me. Let your people see you and not me. And let them receive your word today in their spirits and in their hearts. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is now seated at the right hand of God, the Heavenly Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. I believe in the Christianity Church. I believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Hallelujah. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. The great act of love. So we're going to be reading from our daily bread and whatever else the Holy Spirit has to say. Okay. The great act of love. So I will be reading from Romans 5, verse 18. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. We all fell because of one man, Adam. We all were accepted into the Lord again through one man, Jesus Christ. Okay? By faith, that is the great act of love. And I have other scriptures. Romans 8, verse 16. Romans 8, verse 16. The Lord wants you free from indwelling sin. The only way you can be free from indwelling sin is what the Bible is saying. Sin within. The only way you could be free is by the Holy Spirit. Is by the Lord. And so that's all the Lord has me going over today. Romans 8 verse 16 and 17. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Okay, our spirit bears witness with the Holy Spirit that we are children of God. Okay. Walking in the Spirit. Galatians 5:18. No, Galatians 5, verse 16 through 18. 
I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Hallelujah. The works of the flesh are evident, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, loathness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murderers, drunkenness, rivalries. Okay, the Lord is saying, walk in the spirit, walk in the Holy Spirit. Okay, you can't, it's not by your might, it's by the Holy Spirit. You can't do nothing down here without the Holy Spirit. Okay, if you are not walking in the Spirit, you are under the law, says the Lord. Okay, walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's why. Okay, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're full of flesh. That's not good. Flesh is flesh. Our flesh is weak. My flesh is weak. I need the Holy Spirit to fill me. You have to walk in the Holy Spirit. You have to be Holy Spirit led. Okay? It's Christian liberty. Thank you, Lord. It's Christian liberty. That's all the Lord had me talk about this morning. The great act of love, which is the Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ dying on the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And us being forgiven and being redeemed back into the family of the Heavenly Father through the Lord God, Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord just keep having me emphasize the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit. By the Holy Spirit, we are saved by grace, by mercy. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. You have to walk in the Holy Spirit. And you have to listen to people who are Holy Spirit led so that way they don't mess up your walk with the Lord. If they, the Lord said, if they're not Holy Spirit led, you shouldn't listen to them because that's their flesh speaking. What is flesh? It's not the Holy Spirit. It's not of God. At the end of the day, it's not of the Lord. So the great act of love Follow the Holy Spirit. Walk in the Spirit, says the Lord. John 14. That's hard. I got to go to John 14. Mm. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you won't have peace. Holy Spirit brings you peace. Hallelujah. The gift of his peace. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So if you speak in and it's not the Holy Spirit, I won't even have an ear to listen. It's in the Bible. Ashalaba. Come on, Lord. Mm -mm. 
It's a scripture. I don't see it right now. But it says, if you don't speak in the Holy Spirit or if you don't say what the Lord is telling you to say, then the people that are that are listening to you, their attention is naturally going to leave and they're not going to agree with what you're saying because you're not speaking in the Holy Spirit. You're not speaking what thus says the Lord said is more of it was said to you, but it wasn't from the Lord. Like that's not God saying that. And so my sheep know my voice. You like, uh, no, you can't tell me. Sorry. I mean, I mean no disrespect, but you know, I, you got to listen to the Holy Spirit. If you will fall, you'll die. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesus. So that's it. Hallelujah. John 4, this is the last scripture. John 14, verse 26 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Okay? The gift of his peace. Please, only say what thus says the Holy Spirit. If, if they don't say it, don't say it. Even if... Your leader has said it. I'm not telling you to disrespect your leader. Just keep your mouth closed and you know that they're wrong. And you, it's just between you and the Lord, okay? It's not for you to go. <laughs> it's not for you to be the devil against nobody. It's just for you to know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> I got to go. I pray I have a blessed day, okay? Shalom. Shalom.